ericmwathethmother.com with this weekend's market analysis video for the weekend of December 9th and December 10th, 2017. This is how markets are shaping up right now with about three and a half hours to go before the close, pretty much sitting at the highs of the day. Let's take a look at those charts. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at, of course, the general markets for the U.S. And for my paid mother.com subscribers, we're going to take a look at commodities, take a look at other sectors in the U.S. And also take a different look or I'll give you my view on Bitcoin with an interesting perspective. All right, let's take a look at markets here. Begin with the Nasdaq daily. Now, all week. I've been trying to tell paid subscribers that this market was not giving us any sell signals. Nothing major was breaking. So the interpretation was that the market might recover. At this rate, I would suspect that now we are more than likely going to test the highs, if not actually break above the highs. And the reason for that is very simple. It goes back to understanding how the market behaves when it comes back to test the RSI 50 and holds. As we can see right now, this is where the market has stopped going down with this uniform activity here on the daily for the NASDAQ. The last time we came close to RSI 50 and held was here on the daily, which is for the lows there. And as you can see, we went to test the highs. In fact, we broke through. And prior to that, the last time we bounced on the RSI 50 was in the towards the end of September, which is here. And again, once we held that with uniform action, the uniform action is the key. We tested the highs and actually broke above them. So right now we see that this is back on the table, that the market might test the recent highs, if not break through them. All right. So all week. We've been suspecting the market might recover based on that understanding. Another way of looking at this is to figure out where we began the most recent move higher, which is this breakout on the daily, which is this move. Once we moved above that range in both the price and the RSI, the market has responded very well. So what we do is we take that information and draw our uniformity support line more on this uniformity principle can be found in the description of the video. I'll provide the necessary links. We can see if we draw this line right here. It also coincides to with the RSI 50 level. Anytime we bounce on this line with uniform action, it means the market wants to recover. And over the last couple of days, we bounced on this line, which meant the market wanted to recover it's been up since then so in fact if you take a look at the weekly chart for the nasdaq we might actually end up breaking out in other words we've had two weeks of rest since the most recent all-time weekly closing high so the nasdaq has a chance if it wants to to break out above six thousand eight eight 9.16 so if we can break out above this price in the coming week that is gonna be a fresh breakout keep in mind we continue observing that the Nasdaq is above 69.1 on the weekly which means that the weekly time frame is sideways to bullish so let's not be shocked if the market breaks out and continues accelerating higher keep in mind for the nasdaq we are looking at the monthly chart where we can see that on the monthly rsi in fact if we go back let's go back about eight years on the monthly and we can see evidence of this understanding something i've talked about over the last year ever since here as a good example in 2013 once the rsi jumped above 69.1 the market would stay pretty much for the most part with an upward bias and that lasted almost two years more than two years until the market broke back below the 69.1 threshold here 
So ever since we moved above 69.1 at the beginning of the year, we've been holding the view that the market continues to be sideways to bullish as long as we are above the 69.1 threshold. So really we shouldn't be surprised if this market continues being strong, if not stable, if not outright bullish. If we take a look at the hourly, let's go to the NASDAQ hourly, and we can see that when the market was making this push, the RSI was stabilizing. So we can say that improvement was positive divergence. So this recovery is consistent with positive divergence, improvement in the technicals, while prices were deteriorating set the stage for that move higher. We can also see that on this hourly chart, we can draw a line connecting RSI lows like that. So the market held, and the more this held and held and held and held while we were making lower lows, ultimately that energy meant that there was gonna be a recovery leg to the upside. If we take a look at the S&P 500 monthly, as we have been aware all this year, we've been above 69.1. And other than one month here, this has been a positive month to month to month to month to month to month to month. Positive back to back gains on the monthly because the RSI continues to hold above 69.1 on the SPX. We can also see the same thing as far as the Dow is concerned. We can see that for the Dow, as long as the RSI is above 69.1, which pretty much has been what's been the, the situation here since late 2016, once we moved above 69.1, and to understand why I get this number, I'll provide a link in the description of the video. And here we can see that as long as the Dow is above this number, yet another reason why investors should stay expecting the market to be sideways to bullish for now, the Dow weekly confirms amazing strength on the weekly. In fact, we can even see evidence of this. Take a look at this move in late November to about March of this year, where the RSI remained above 69.1. The market would pretty much be sideways to bullish. We had the same situation here until we moved back below it. Here again, the market was pretty much showing the same type of market sideways to bullish. And over the last couple of weeks, since about early September of this year, once the market reclaimed the 69.1 level, we can see that the market has remained to be sideways to bullish. Now, take a look at the daily for the Dow. This is why the market won't go down. The Dow refuses, as long as the Dow daily is above 69.1, <laughs> this remains to be a bullish to sideways market. Pretty much that's all she wrote. The reason being that this number, once a market can achieve this number, it goes into another level of consciousness. And you can see this, for example, take a look at this period here. The market stayed bullish day to day until it moved back below this level here. Same situation here. Market was bullish on a day-to-day -day basis until it moved back below it. Same thing here. Market would stay bullish until it moved back below 69.1. So right now we are back above 69.1. We can see even on a daily time frame, we are sideways to bullish. Otherwise, that concludes the free portion on the public end. The rest of the video is going to be for paid subscribers to moather.coms and we're going to be talking about Bitcoin, take a look at some sectors in the US market, take a look at commodities like gold, copper and crude oil. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your weekend. This is Eric Moather with moather.com. For subscribers, let's continue on.